Hey, what's going on guys? This is Cardus with Wirefly. And what I got for you guys today is a comparison between Android 4.4.4, that's a lot of fours, which is KitKat, and Android L, which is the new version of Android that's coming out later this year or towards the end of the year. And since I do not have Android L on my phone, I'm gonna use the Nexus 5 to show the OS on Android right now. And then I'm gonna show pictures and other stuff like that uh, to show you what Android L is gonna look like. So let's get right into it. So as I switch cameras, you guys can see here the startup screen of the Nexus 5, which is a bit different from Android L. And here's the main screen on Android 4.4.4, like I said, KitKat. What you can do is swipe to the right to access the camera, and that you can still do that on Android L. And on Android L, what you could actually do is swipe to the right and access your dialer, which you can actually use to make uh, emergency phone calls, or I think you can actually do other type of phone calls um, not unless you have your phone locked or uh, with the passcode, you cannot access those uh, features. But if you just have it uh, like this, that you can just swipe to the right and uh, access the phone, then that means you can actually uh, make a phone call if you just swipe to the right. The other difference you guys probably already noticed or are going to notice if you guys have Android L are the menu buttons here in the bottom. These are the typical back key, the home key, and the recently opened app key. And well, this how it says is the back key takes you back to whatever you were doing previously. This takes you home if you're in another window, just takes you back to the home screen. And this opens your recently uh, opened apps, like I said, which we just opened the camera, so that's why that shows up the camera. And like I said, these buttons look different. They say that these buttons look now like a PlayStation uh, controller because it looks like a triangle, a circle, and a square, uh, which, like I said, it comes out in the PlayStation controller. But um, I guess Android adopted these buttons, and they look pretty cool. They're, they're not that bad. Uh, but like I said, some people don't like change and are complaining about or not really complaining, but they just say it looks similar to something they've already seen. One of the other things you can notice is the notification tab you can pull from the top. Right here you just do one swipe and it opens the whole thing. It just gives you notifications right here in the top. And if you want to close them you can swipe to the side or you can press that button to swipe them all if you have several notifications here like emails or other stuff like that. You can also access your settings or your quick settings uh, just by pressing the button up on top. And that's well the typical Android layout. On the new Android L, you can swipe down and you get access to the notifications also, but they come now in like a card style. This uh, old um, notification center or notification tab on the typical or old school, we could call it, Android uh, layout, it just blacks out the whole screen. It's really dark. Uh, on the other one, you see the little tabs or the cards that are in the middle and the background is a little see-through. You can still see through and see the apps you have behind there. Uh, and you can swipe down, like I said, just to see the cards. You swipe down one more time and you get access to the settings or the other quick settings that I told you guys about. And on top, you can also access the full settings. You can go in there and you can modify whatever you want from display to sound, storage, battery, and all that stuff. And I really think it looks way better and it gives it like a more elegant feel to it. Another thing that comes in cards or that looks a little bit different is the recently opened tab or button that's on the bottom. On Android 4.4.4 KitKat, you press on it and you open it and you can slide up and down. Well, if you had, if I had more apps open, yeah, I could actually go up and down. And you can also slide them to the side to get rid of them or you can just tap them to go inside the application. On Android L, the new thing you can do now is you press it right there and you can scroll through them. Um, it has like a different card feel to it right here. They're just displayed on the other one You can have like a card feel to them You can it flows way better than this one and you can like I said swipe to the left You want to discard it or just press on it if you want to go into it. it looks pretty cool It looks way better than this one Like I said, it has like a more elegant feel to it and I'm not gonna mention all the differences between these OS's. I'm just going to mention one more thing that I noticed that's really noticeable. The other things are not that noticeable, like the little things on the top there. The icons are a little bit different, stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to mention one last thing if we go to the menu. Right here in the menu, you can see that it's a dark menu. Like I said, uh, this is typical on Android KitKat. Um, you scroll through it and it's just black all the way around. And like I said, it's a dark layout. These things are like little buttons you can swipe to the right and it just turns on swipe to the left or you can just press on it 
and it just appears on the other side the new thing on android l it has like little circles and when you press on it it actually has like a little animation to it where it just slides to the left or swipes to the right right here it just appears when you tap on it or if you decide to swipe one side or to swipe to the other side it would actually do it but if you just tap on it it just does it by itself and like i said it's a dark layout android l has more white to it like i said more color to it it's not as dark which i actually prefer this dark feel to it um, personally like I said um, but I mean I wouldn't mind having it white either because it would actually give it like different feel to it and it will to actually let me know that I'm using a different OS and those are the main features or the main things that I noticed that were different between Android L and the version I got right here which is Android 4.4.4 Kit Kat. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys like this style of video. I try to do something different with the aerial shot and just a shot on me while I'm talking in the beginning and the end. Um, let me know if you guys like it. And also let me know if you guys are excited for Android L. Like I said, it's not that different, but it has some changes to it and it actually is going to make it look more elegant. I mean, I would like to think of it as more elegant. That's a matter of personal preference. Uh, but that's it for me. Like I said, I was Cards with Wirefly and I will see you guys in the next video.